My name is Kelly Walters. I'm the CEO of the VRM Biologic Group. I have been in the role for four years and my responsibility ultimately is to honour the vision of the founder and president and uh, implement the company's goal, uh, or mission rather, which is restoring 25% of the world's arable land in 25 years. My first exposure to humus soil was in a landfill site in the Southern Highland area in New South Wales in Australia. I remember going down there in business clothes to make sure that this project was operating well and the guys handed me a pair of oversized gumboots and said, go have a play. I remember digging my hands into this pile of material, it was clean. It smelt rich, it smelt like the earth, and it made me feel good just standing there looking at it. I knew it had come from green waste, food waste, and a whole lot of icky stuff that people don't normally like to deal with. And here I was standing there with it in my hand thinking I could actually grow something with this. It, it was just an absolutely astounding product as far as I was concerned. And I have been playing with it ever since. It, it doesn't stop in terms of me just wanting to get my hands into the humus soil wherever we are in the world, whoever is manufacturing it. It is such a revolutionary pro a product. To be able to replace fertiliser, to be able to not have any kind of chemical impact on the earth going forward, to be able to grow clean, healthy food for future generations, yeah, it's just astonishing. I could not have ever imagined I would be in this position. So, num th that one there, um, there is no other process. There's no other process. There is no other process converting organics that doesn't have a net carbon emission. We don't care about the organic material. We care about what it does. Where it goes, it adds a thing called hydrosynthesis. Now, that's a real fancy word. And you know, you can take a photograph of that because I made it up. It's a brand new word in the English language, it didn't exist before. Biological hydrosynthesis is the only, that's a word used to describe the process of water manufacture that didn't exist before. Hydrogen plus oxygen equal water. The mechanism for making water is to find some guy who mixes those two things well. We found the guy. We trained them, we got to know them, we made friends with them. We use your pile of organic material to have a party for these guys. When they have a party, they make water. And they don't make water just while you are in process, they make it for years afterwards, which is what you found. Years afterwards. They make it wherever you deliver that to. Our objective is to improve the fact of and the future of growing food on 25% of the world's arable land. But this is, this is point number one, is that we learnt how to trigger this natural reaction everywhere, in any type of soil, in any altitude, in any climate, in any temperature, in any weather. It was really serendipitous, the expansion of VRM into the US, us looking for a partner, a, a business that we could work with who had the same philosophy, who had the same value system, and along came SGTM. Um, and Tony and Tammy. The first couple of conversations, of course, this happened sort of just post COVID. So we weren't able to travel outside of Australia. We've been talking to Tony on screen for six months. So we just met him yesterday to, to actually stand in front of he and Tammy to spend the whole day with them talking about how aligned we are in our mission. Uh, it, it's just such a pleasure and an honor to be able to come to the US and to work with SGTM and the team. From the very first meeting that we had, I think it was about midnight, because in Australia we're in a completely different time zone. It's past my bedtime, but boy did I ever wake up. And I wasn't able to go back to sleep. And the next day I got together with Brian and I said, man, what I listened to in this download was so incredible. And we just kept on working together, uh, one Zoom meeting after another, 
and, and now that we've actually formed a partnership and we're working together, we want to make sure that we get Humasoil in every household across the nation and every Caribbean island. And for us to do our part from the U.S. to work together and that partnership to us is definitely sustainability in its finest, bringing together technology, taking waste that normally would be releasing carbons in the atmosphere and, and taking everything back within itself, creating life, that's sustainability for our future. That this process is built on stimulating photosynthesis which is in the ground, not photosynthesis which is above the ground in the plants and the, and the trees. A whole nother kingdom on the planet that exists everywhere. One key feature of that group is that they mobilise phosphorus. It's a key feature. So every time you make humus oil, you'll end up with a percentage of phosphorus in the organic material close to 1%. So when you put a yard of humus oil out on the ground, you're putting out 1% of that yard is straight fertiliser. Well, the, the, the concept of itself of wanting to feed the world, you know, it's a very lofty goal. So you, how many people are there in the world now? Billions. We are a small team of people. We're not going to be able to, to do that, to achieve any kind of change, to engage and empower unless we all do it together. That's the whole idea. I think that we, with our partners all over the world, are going to make a significant impact. We're going to save lives. We're going to save generations. It's, it's as simple as that. I, I think that if we continue in the same path that we're going, then we can correct a lot of the damage that's been done in the past. We'll be able to ensure that at least, at the very least, this generation has done its best to make sure that the next couple of generations enjoy life. Here we are and this great revolutionary technology breakthrough and we're gonna grow water. Come on, you know, who can say they're growing water? I love it.